Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to export uh, drawings and information from AutoCAD uh, to Revit and apply those 2D drawings, especially the plans, I mean, into a 3D uh, perspective uh, Revit file, and then we construct a 3D Revit out of those AutoCAD. So, if we have uh, an AutoCAD uh, documents like this um, it's just simply the ground floor for example showing the plan of a very basic uh, villa and then we have the first floor for it and then we have the roof and then you're gonna have a basic or very simple uh, maybe elevation you're gonna find that very useful uh, especially when you work on a, your first days in a very uh, basic project or the face work in an office or even for students that's been asked several times to do or to, uh, to export uh, drawings from AutoCAD to Revit. So this is basically the third method that we talked about recently. If, if we remember before I, before I start and go and show you the first level of this, uh, which is I'm going to show you, of course, how to make levels and grids. And uh, I need really to remind you to refresh your your memory regarding the previous methods that we have, if you remember. So the, the first method uh, was basically, uh, we spoke about it in Unit 4, especially when we uh, have the midterm exam, and we also spoke about that earlier in previous lectures. And you remember that we have uh, a plan built in, in like PowerPoint or print in a piece of paper, and then someone asked us to you know, digitize this uh, this process, and we start looking at the document, and then we go straight and draw that as a grids, and then copy paste, or you know, even uh, you know, like create a new grid system and grid level system. So that was the first thing. It's is, is you have a printout or a PDF, uh, a soft copy or a hard copy, but not a DWG, not an AutoCAD. Uh, 2D plan to start up with. That's one of the most common cases you're gonna ever suffer with actually, especially when you work in an old office and he try to update or they try to update their work into Revit. It's kinda killing, you know, like really gonna mess you up having very old documents, even printed, uh, hard copy, dusty one, or, uh, you know, like a PDF if you are lucky, or even scanned uh, JPEGs out of them. The second method that we talked about previously is to when you you know like work with a conceptual massing and you're sketching and you need a form and that form that you like you want to make uh, you know plans and uh, sections out of that and we spoke about that in a previous video uh, here this one making a tower under the conceptual mass step four especially when we finish you know working with the curtain wall system and then uh, we clad those conceptual uh, uh, mass with the walls and then finally we go and uh, you know add the levels here if you remember and then we just change those levels into uh, plans so that's the second method is basically we talked about that re recently and extensively with uh, changing the conceptual mass into a real 2D uh, plans inside Revit so the third method is basically we have those, you know, uh, you know, DWGs. So what I'm going to do is very easy. I'm going to use a command called write block here in AutoCAD. So just hit W and in the W, you can just go ahead and select the ground floor, for example, like this one. And in it, I'm going to go here. And on the desktop, I'll just, uh, I don't know, create, uh, or just, just, just leave it here. Let's call that ground flow. Let's create that here. Okay, of unit five, let's say. And it's, uh, make sure it's DWG, of course. Save, and by doing that, actually, uh, AutoCAD will cut that with the right command, right block command, and ch make that plan only by itself as a DWG. So if if you go and you know uh, here based in that file by itself, which would really nice to get rid of all that. You can 
do the same thing by you know like saving that file the original file and then delete the, the whole thing and then make another copy and delete the things that you don't need it's just another way to go around that anyway go rivet and then file new and then project browse that and I don't want a US Imperial I will go to metric and then a default metric so basically the couple of steps or the couple of two videos I'm, I'm gonna separate separate those into a step so I've been asked several times don't to not to make a long videos actually and separate that into a specific shorter videos which is easier for you to track uh, what I'm doing in each video so you don't need to go into a long videos so for this step specifically I'm gonna show you the export for example and how to create levels for that so now I have this metric system uh, built in Revit I'll, I'll go here and and see it's uh, millimeter and uh, of course metric it's millimeter so I'll come here and manage and make sure it's in the units here it's millimeter so just double check that if it's meter there just make it here meter if it's a millimeter just follow AutoCAD don't you know use your own uh, units now again back to AutoCAD and I'm gonna go here and see what is the level so the ground floor is on zero the second floor is on 4000 sorry the first floor actually and the roof is on 7000 so back to rivet again so we need three levels and definitely this guy was named ground flow so here I will rename that into ground flow and yes of course so it's gonna rename all corresponding unrelated levels with it and now I can just click here and rename that into level one hit yes always and probably it's a good idea to go to the east elevation now and see what are we doing so that level zero beautiful that level four happy coincident here and probably we need to go to architecture and create a level here on seven probably yep which is three thousand millimeter higher which is level two you can basically rename that into roof and by that we have three separated level as we can you know always double check in here so those are the levels set now before you jump and create the grids now you need to go to the ground here and in insert you can go to import CAD and in this in this option specifically uh, you can by the way just there's an option here very similar to it which is link CAD uh, the difference is import is gonna take the copy of the DWG and paste it here and that's it forget about it while the link it always have a direct live link between it and the DWG so whatever you change in the DWG you're gonna see it changed here so let's take a copy of it while this one copy and link to it while this guy the import will just take a copy and forget about the external or the external sorry DWG file whatever you change it will not change usually you are not gonna change or not gonna follow depend on what you like I usually or what type of work you do usually you're gonna use this one anyway I'm gonna go to desktop and I think I name it ground here now I'm loading it and it's gonna take a copy of it and place paste it here beautiful that's what I want and make sure that when you select it this guy pin is active actually that's what we want so now I'm going to go to level one and before sorry that's in the ground floor beautiful that's level one now uh, beautiful I'll go here right bloke and I select all those and again sorry I'm gonna rename that into a uh, first floor of unit 5 
and again in Revit I'm gonna go import and uh, again this guy here now I need to place those exactly above each other so now I'm in level one I'm seeing this by the underlay option in the view if you have to deselect anything you're gonna find that in the underlay if, if you didn't find it if you didn't see the ground floor while you are on level one so probably you need to go to underlay here that's level one and it's looking down and it's seeing you know the ground floor anyway select that guy unpin it and then move and select any reference point like this guy for example a1 so I'm gonna select this here exactly and you know place it above this one and now I'll go further away and zooming out selecting this guy and pin it now I'll go to the roof again in AutoCAD again right block W and then space selecting the roof and then you know the same place just name it roof and then unit 5 and then hit OK now back to Revit and in here I will easily uh, do the same thing import here and here we go the roof roof whatever R yep zoom out if you didn't see it and again look I, I can't see anything in here so hit escape a couple of times so you don't select anything go to the property panel find the underlay option and go to see level one for example unpin that guy drag it now freely and then zoom in move it from well-known point like this one the intersection and then zoom in again paste it here lock it or pin it sorry and then finish and by doing so uh, probably you, it's better to you know like maybe after you level them you just go to hit none so you don't see the lower one now if you go to the to the 3d view you're gonna see that three levels are set okay the three levels are set that's the ground floor that's the first floor and that's the roof and now we finish the levels we finish importing each DWG file in the rivet corresponding level correctly as you can see now we need to go ahead and do the you know the grid and I'll just do that in uh, the next video uh, just to make sure that it doesn't go as a one long video as we as I said before so thank you and see you in the next video bye bye